are you one of those people that feels you never learn in the sense that you know you say oh I always pick the same type of partners and it never really works out or I trusted a person and just like the one before that or the ones before that it didn't work out if that's the case you will notice that when you reflect on the person that has let you down that very likely a person with the same traits has been in your life before that and so it is difficult sometimes you know to to see these things happen and the point is these issues will continue to reoccur for as long as it takes until you understand you don't lead, need them any longer right so you, you have heard this before you know we all have the same problems over and over again and um, so the question then becomes why is this happening right and we will talk about it in a minute the other scenario that is oftentimes the case is when you say to someone wow you feel so familiar to me I have the feeling we've known each other all our lives or oh, we hit it off immediately and it felt like you know we have spent a lifetime together all these things are quite common and many people that want to find out what this is about and maybe explore it especially the people that have issues uh, moving on from certain reoccurring issues would probably do very well looking into their past lives so and what that really means is this the idea is that we are always coming back we get reborn over and over again and usually we arrive here with um, a clean slate so we don't really remember all that much and we meet the same people over and over again even though they come in the different uh, the most different of shapes and forms so um, someone who could have been your mother in the, in the last life could be your lover in this life or even your child right so that's the idea um, that you meet the same type of, of people and the idea is that you have a soul agreement and so that you basically said okay we do this all together so one life you can teach me another life I can teach you or we can experience this together there's loads of theories uh, behind this but um, the main purpose of, of past life regression is really to see who you were in another lifetime and if you can see patterns in this lifetime that doesn't work uh, they don't work and the other thing that you oftentimes happen is um, let's just say you're one of those people that know that your parents love you very very much right but somehow you don't feel that they love you that much right it could well be that in another lifetime you know you had parents that didn't love you and so you don't trust and um, so these things are uh, perfect make perfect sense to explore um, in a past life uh, we just pause this until the dog is a bit more quiet the other thing that you will notice as you um, when you go to someone who does past life regression with you is that if it is a meditative regression for instance you will be aware that you are in a room with a person talking to you guiding you uh, somehow into a past life but you will be fully aware where you are at all times so you usually go in as an observer which is quite useful uh, considering that this is your past life and uh, many many people that have past life regressions done actually say at some point oh that's me I know this is me and I know how old I am I know that the person that I see there is my mum I know that I'm in a Victorian age all these things are quite important the reason I'm mentioning them is because many people that do past life regressions find it difficult to see if their mind makes it up or if it is really real uh, you know once the doubt comes in the little devil that sits on your shoulder here you know things that um, would have made sense to you easily fall apart so remember if you if you, if you do this you know just uh, enjoy it really and just explore it all but but don't doubt it doesn't really make much sense the problem why people are doubting in the first place is because it's probably the first experience and they can't really put this together uh, for those of us who have studied past life regression we were fortunate enough to um, underwent undergo so to speak um, many of uh, past life regressions ourselves and even though you, you uh, experience different lifetimes um, you understand after a while how this feels as you journey and then it becomes more commonplace in, in, in that sense so all these things are really really important um, to, just to understand um, what's going on there so to some it is a party game to others it's quite interesting because what happens is that you sometimes go uh, been, been drawn into a lifetime and how this works is you know um, as a past life regression therapist I could never promise you that you go into the lifetime that you probably want to explore 
uh, because I work with guides, and most people work with guides in, in spirituality. Um, so usually your guides tell you where they feel you need to be at a certain point in time. The point is that oftentimes people watch things, view things, see things, and then uh, later on, you know, uh, use Google or go to a library and see what they, and research what they actually saw, and it makes perfect sense in their timeline. So obviously how come we remember stuff that uh, we probably have never researched? I give an example of my own my own example, when I was uh, much younger, I did my bit of past life regression in 2001 or 2002 in Dublin, and I could see myself being a tall, slim guy, <laughs> uh, leaving for America, and um, I was in a first class boat, and I could see everything that I saw on, on the boat, but I've never seen a boat in real life, uh, an, old, an older ship, so to speak. And so I could see how the first cabin, the first last cabins looked like. And the next day I um, went to a library because I was a bit of a skeptic and could see immediately in the books that they had there um, exactly, precisely 150% identical to what I've seen in my past of equation is what really happened on, on, these, on these ships. And it's quite interesting then. Um, even though these days I probably wouldn't have to go to a library because I just trust it. Um, um, you know, if you, if you ever come into the, the feeling of, oh, I'm not sure about this, by all means, research it, right? It's really, really important. The other thing is, is to um, try when you go there just to explore. Don't come back with million and one questions because you might never end up in these lifetimes again. So um, be there with an open mind, right? And uh, I wanted to talk to you about before that you go, um, how past life questions are being done. You hear all these different stories and the reason why there are different stories is because we're all individuals and there doesn't seem to be, uh, or there isn't, um, a right or wrong about these things. The most common that you hear is that people uh, ask you to go into a tunnel which is based on uh, our well, our upbringing, like you know there's light at the end of the tunnel, this kind of stuff. Uh, so a lot of people um, bring people to, to a tunnel or bring them in an elevator and then as they go down it denotes another lifetime. Um, I personally don't do this at all because I feel, you know, the person that is with you could be claustrophobic the same way when you say, like, well, there's six doors, just choose one. Um, I don't really work that way. I use nature, and what, how I work this is that I bring people uh, in the meditation into a forest, then onto a clearing, and then in the distance they can see a gate, and then as they get closer, they can, they can tell me then if the gate is closed, ajar, or wide open. And that shows me how willing they actually are at this point in time to um, go into another lifetime. And then when they're ready, they just go through the gate and then we take it from there. And I will not necessarily bore you with what, what happens then. Um, but the point, my point is that it makes a lot of sense to me and to my clients. If you just use nature, you know, there's a, there's a, there's a way of being able to breathe in nature uh, when you bring them into a past life and then wherever they end up, you guide them from there. Um, so it's just one of those things, you know, that you can request from whoever regresses you uh, to do this in, in, in a setting where you would feel very comfortable, right? So I hope um, that will answer some of your questions um, and that's all we have time for. See you next time.